Hi, I'm Jill Bernstein, and I am so grateful to be a part of this incredible team and meaningful project that was started by the former governor of Delaware, Jack Markell, and Ann McNamee. And it is to honor Heather Heyer. And for those of you who don't know, Heather Heyer was the woman who three years ago today senselessly murdered while she was peacefully protesting hate in Charlottesville, Virginia. We are so thankful that you are joining us for this conversation. Um, we are going to be talking about this new video, Charlottesville, that we have launched today to commemorate the horrific tragedy. We'll be talking for about 15 minutes and followed by that, we'll be screening the video. So today we are joined by the unbelievable artists who were a part of this project. Um, we have Governor Jack Markell, uh, Roger and Ann McNamee, Dylan Chambers is joining us today, as well as the T sisters. We have Chloe, Erica, and Rachel Teachin. We have Dan Lebo and his beautiful daughter, Estelle. And who can forget, Jason Crosby, our dear friend, who will be speaking to his role in this as well. So thank you, everybody. We're going to jump right in. Um, I, I also just wanted to add that, you know, we were so lucky to be, be a part of this with um, Brian Stevens, who is the editor and the creative lead for the video for this. And we're just so thankful to have been a part of this project. So let us begin. Um, Jack, we're hoping that you can talk us through a bit of your shift from politics into songwriting and maybe touch on why this, why you were so inspired to write this song. Uh, well, thanks, Jill. Uh, for me, I mean, frankly, it's an, uh, there's some continuity involved. When I was governor, I really focused on issues of social justice. Uh, and I believe music can be such a powerful agent of change. I mean, through our history, there are just so many incredible examples of, of that. And so for me, it really came down to two things. One was when uh, Donald Trump uh, basically said, you know, they're very fine people on both sides of the protest and who can forget uh, the ugliness uh, of that protest. And then Heather Heyer's line, uh, if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. There's just such a larger truth uh, there uh, for all of us. If you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. You got to do something about it. And so that was what motivated me to um, try to, uh, you know, I've, I've done poetry for a long time, never written songs before. Uh, and I, I wrote this song with the help of a great uh, instructor. And so fortuitously, I was connected to Ann McNamee through a mutual friend, a guy, uh, Bud Martin, who runs a Delaware theater company. And little could I have guessed, I mean, I really would have had no idea that I would be connected such, to such an unbelievable set of musicians. I mean, it, all of you uh, are fantastic. I mean, just really so impressive. And, um, you know, so the, the music that Ann wrote, her, her ability to bring all of these great musicians into it, to have Brian and Jill do the video. I just like, I, otherwise, without them, I'd be a guy like in my basement, like writing poetry on a, on a legal pad. And here it's turned into this great song, thanks to all of you. So I just feel incredibly fortunate. Well, I'm sure that poetry you would have written would have been just as, as beautiful and heartfelt as the lyrics to this song. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, Anne and Roger, would you like to talk a little bit about, you know, what drew you to this project? Well, it was an honor to be invited to collaborate with Governor Markell. And when I read his lyrics, what really spoke to me was marching in solidarity. And I thought this has to be anthemic. This has to involve a lot of people. And I just thought, well, who are the people I love? We, we should meet, even though we feel that we're isolated, we should connect we should um, meet this tragedy head on with love. And so I immediately thought, of course, of the Moon Alice and Doobie Decibel System family. I asked Roger to help, tweak, he tweaked some chords. And then I asked Jason, who jumped in with both feet. And I thank you so very much, both of you. And again, I thank every single one of you on this Zoom who said yes right away. And I really, really appreciate it. So this story, has special salience to Moon Alice because we were performing at the Lock-In Festival right outside of Charlottesville and staying in Charlottesville two weeks after uh, Heather was killed. And Jason will talk more about that because he went to observe the uh, memorial that was there. But 
to me, that was the beginning of a change in the national psyche that George Floyd's murder has brought into full flower, which is that the country is now rethinking its racist past. It is rethinking the lack of fairness that is so built into our culture and into our institutions. And that white people are taking responsibility and all of us have both an obligation to uh, contribute to this, but an enormous opportunity because it serves all of us. And this song is just, it's a small thing, but it's a thing we could all do together to show our support. And this band is trying to find every possible way to be a constructive force. You know, whether it was the Blackout Tuesday, whether it's, you know, this song, whether it's other things that we're doing together. And, uh, you know, I want to hand this off to my dear friend Dylan to give you the first person uh, piece of this, because, again, we're a family and this is everyone's fight is our fight. This, on um, behalf of my dad, who's not here with me or with us today, he's feeling a little under the weather, but he's he's doing okay. Everybody, um, you know, we this is this is our firsthand experience. You know, something that that we're born, we're born. It's just our life, you know. And um, tr tr some form of Trump is at some time in American life would have been was going to be inevitable, but we got the orange monster that we got now, right? And what is beautiful is to see that it is actually awakening every spectrum of, of, Amer of American life. Everybody that's, you know, that's realizing that the things that we've been saying for 400 years are true and a reality that everybody now is kind of experiencing equally too. So um, this is a moment for everybody to not go back to sleep. We have, we all have to keep pushing and fighting for like a, a the right kind of change and we're all on every what's happening now is the right steps so um it's beautiful to be in a band of, of such diverse family that um that lets me and dad have these moments to speak that appreciates it that understands it that listens that shares it um because you know there's been times in everybody's especially our past where you know we bring something up that happens and some other hypothetical situation and people don't take us seriously or they don't believe us and same thing with women in, in the Me Too mo movement, right? Where something happens and some woman is sexualized or some misconduct happens and no one believes, well, why did you do that? Or why were you wearing this? It, it's not the victim's fault, right? It is, it's, we, we, that's what people are understanding. So um, it, it's beautiful to share a song that hopefully will connect a lot of people to realizing like, man, this has been going on for some time and we all have to change and, and be a part of that change. Thank you. That was yeah, that was beautiful. And I love the idea, you know, the idea of this this family um, coming together in solidarity to to commemorate together and, and looking at the world that we're in um, and what we can do to help make it a little bit brighter. And we all have to look, we all have to look at the world through each other's eyes and mm -hmm. and she and, and appreciate each other's experience and learn and love and grow from each other's experience so that we can make the world a better place because otherwise we're just going to get so tunneled vision into our own you know little you know group or, or whatever it might be that we're, we're not we're missing out on the joy of of loving all that there is to love within humanity so i agree and it's powerful music like this that helps guide people through that and um you know having three beautiful sisters with that unbelievable blood harmony that shines through when you're singing. I'm, I'm hoping you guys can talk through a little bit about your experience. Sure. Um, well, I think we all feel that this is a really poignant and powerful moment in history um, to be alive during, to, to see the sea change that is happening in terms of especially white people waking up to realities that people of color have been facing for hundreds of years in this country. Um, it feels very powerful that there, that there's some focus going to such injustice. And um, we appreciate being a part of a project that's trying to highlight this. And obviously the song is a tribute to Heather, but I think it's much more than that. Heather, you know, what happened to Heather is heartbreaking, but what Heather was fighting against was 
the assassination, the assault, the harassment, the devaluing of so many people for so long in this country. And I think that's really what this, what this message is about. Um, and are paying attention to that and are elevating that message. And um, obviously love and hope are really important, but we have to remember um, not to be so naive as to think that that's all that will improve society and life for people. We have to combine that with hard work and activism and realization. So we're grateful to be part of this project um, and hoping that, that we can do whatever we can to elevate the voices of our, our friends and our family and people who have been affected by these injustices and um, use our harmony to give voice to, to some catharsis and some activism also. Yeah, yeah. Well <laughs> yeah. said. <laughs> and just speaking uh, briefly to the, the actual process um, in this really strange time where we can't I mean, we can, we're very fortunate that we can be together and we can actually be in the same room with one another. But um, this was a really cool project to be able to collaborate from all these different places. And it really shows what's possible in, as far as combining our voices when we're so circumscribed by the uh, state of the world. Yeah, I think as a Full Moon Alice family, we really won't want to use our platform to be anti-racist and to set a good example and just really support each other and um, move progress forward. Beautiful. Well, thank you. We have another family here with us, mm -hmm. Lebo and Estelle. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah, what an honor to uh, be a part of this, uh, the creation of this, this piece of art, the song, the video, the whole thing. Um, I mean, kind of an echoing a little bit of what, what's been touched on here already. I mean, you know, the song is the story of a tragedy, but, but clearly it's a message of hope, you know, to, to be able to lift people with. I think, um, you know, a lot of times kind of what, uh, what was just being mentioned too about the process, a lot of times when you're in the process of it, you're just uh, focused on the nuts and bolts, you know, making sure the parts get done, making sure everything gets composed right and, you know, it gets recorded with good tones and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so we, while we were working on it last month, I think that's a lot of more where my mind was. But actually just yesterday, I kind of had a realization as we were all talking about what a family affair this whole thing is with, you know, Roger and Anne as a couple and the T sisters as sisters and Dylan and Lester as father and son. And Anne, thanks so much for inviting Estelle to be a part of this. Um, it's, uh, we, you know, Estelle is really into music and everything, but we, we don't get a ton of opportunity to collaborate actually, and especially on something as cool as this. And uh, yeah, I just think it's really cool of you to ask her, especially uh, the whole notion of change is about the future. And it's, it's kids who are going to be holding the future. So, yeah. How was it for you, Estelle? Did you have fun doing this? Yeah, I really liked it. And I love how the music video turned out. Awesome. I'm glad that you like how it turned out. And you have such a beautiful, sweet voice. And it's the kind of voice we all need to feel a bit more hopeful about the world we're in. So thank you for, for bringing that light and shining it. Thank you. We have um, Jason last, who may or may not have a good connection. As we can see, he is outside with a beautiful background. Our beautiful background is photography from J.D. Cohen, who actually shared his, his art with us uh, for this. Jason, with your live background, hopefully we can hear you clearly. If you would just talk to us about everything that you did for this. You co-produced, you co-composed, you played strings, keyboard, guitar, sang, even played bass. <laughs> Can you talk to us a little bit about what that was like to bring everybody together and to uh, make this all come to life? It was, you know, it was so great to, to be able to collaborate with them on this um, while we're all, all sheltered together. And it just it made it made perfect sense to have our our musical family be all a part of it. So when when uh, Ann and I were we kind of went through all of Jack's verses and we like decided, OK, you know, this this line should be, you know, this person and this line should be that person. And, uh, you know, wouldn't it be great to get Estelle on there, just like making all of these <clears throat> decisions after recording all of the tracks. 
Um, and um, as Roger said, you know, uh, I was down there with uh, Bob and Phil uh, at Lock In, and Roger was there with Moon Alice and, and uh, three years ago. And my girlfriend and I, you know, did go down there uh, to to the to the site of the tragedy. And um, and you know, it's so it. it it means, you know, it's it, when you when you see it with your own eyes, it's uh, it, it, you know, it leaves a even more of an imprint, you know, um, uh, you know, like well, I'm from New York. So it's like, you know, 9-11, like that kind of tragedy just, you know, stays with you if you were if you were there. And so, uh, um, you know, I, it's 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 this is an important project and it was an honor to 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 contribute, you know, musically uh, with 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 my family. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I, I think that that's, you know, something that just really comes through when, when we all look at that video to see that, that that's real heart. There's a real heart in this video. Um, you'll also actually see at the end of the video, there's a, a beautiful portrait that was done by John Mavridis. And Anne, I don't know if you want to talk real quick about, uh, about how that came to be. Or do you want, you actually invited John. Well, John's one of the poster artists who has worked with Moon Alice for many, many years. And he has been particularly focused on issues of civil rights. He had, many years ago, he did a series for Black History Month with famous black people and quotes from them, a series of posters, so 31 posters. He's done the same thing for Women's History Month. He did a Time Magazine cover on uh, Dr. Blasey Ford. And so he's become really well known as a political poster artist. And in this context, he just seemed like the natural person for us to turn to. And as you can imagine, he was pretty excited to do it. and. It's a beautiful image. It really is. It's really powerful. Um, powerful. I know I use that word a lot today. It's every, every piece of this project has been powerful. And, and we hope for all of you who uh, have not seen the video yet and are going to you know, now watch it, uh, agree that this is an, an, a powerful and important piece of art. Um, and one, may I please just say one last thing? Yes. The video, you and Brian did such a beautiful, beautiful job with it. So, bravo to you. Welcome Thank to the family. <laughs> Thank you. And we're going to bring him in for a moment Thank to show you. his skin. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Brian. Thank you. It's, been a, it's been a Thank real you. pleasure working on it and, um, and seeing where it's gone from where it started. A labor of love. And sure. we were given just such beautiful things to work with. And, uh, thank you. We so appreciate that. Well, thank you everyone for, for joining today and, um, and let's all, you know, look towards a better future, <laughs> a better tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.